What's up YouTube? Welcome to today's video and in today's video we are going to go over how to get your new mates. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so jumping right into the video, we are going to talk about one of three ways which are available to get accessories, mates, card sleeves, boards and all that so i'm pretty sure all these three ways you guys unfortunately are not gonna like but getting right into it let's go with the shop so seeing as the game has only been out for about a week a week and a half i think today was actually the day this video is going up it's been a week so you can only the shop it, it, it's always the number one place to get new accessories they have some really nice icons some new sleeves you guys can use dual boards and then of course the mates now you guys of course these take gems but with the amount of gems that you get in the beginning of the game you kind of would want to invest in these at least i know i did it was one of the first things i went to check out just because i was getting an absurd amount of gems so I went to the shop. Now, way number two, you going to get the dual pass. Now, I know a lot of you probably don't want to get a dual pass, but like I said, every season, it's, what, every three months? So, four times a year, you're going to go level up the dual pass to 50. They give you an icon and a game, like, art style way thing. Um, I don't know what to call it. I know it's monster art, but it's for like the background or whatever. And then once you reach um, the dual pass 100, they're most likely going to have more mates. Usually I would say mates would be the top priority because that's what everybody wants to use differently or more. Everybody's going to be using the same way. Either way, as you guys can see in the dual pass for level 100, you get the pot of greed and that's pretty much it. That's way number two and then lastly which i know you guys are probably going to hate me for mentioning is going to be completing your solo mode only because they provide a lot they provide you with good structure decks and once you complete um let me go check one of these like the karaokeries where are they this one study the origins of the karaokeries you guys open the gate with whatever these little orb things that you get throughout playing the solo mode. And once you complete the duel using their decks that they provide you, you get like this is the Karakuri Barrel Mate. You also get icons from over here. I didn't do this one because I really didn't want the icon. I didn't need it. But I will eventually just in case, just whenever. But as you guys can see, if you go down to the Legend of the Star and you go to Gift of the Martyr, they have really nice things. So like this one actually has a dual board that if you complete right here, you get this brand new dual board only achievable through the solo mode. And this cool little, oh, that's the wrong one, little dog guardian dragon that you guys can achieve from playing the solo mode. So unfortunately guys those are the only three ways that you guys can achieve new accessories and mates and stuff for your packs and decks and whatever but it seems like maybe if you since the game has only been out for like less than a month when events do happen they're probably going to start implementing accessories and stuff and of course the shop will start coming out with new stuff and these events are probably going to be providing sleeves mates dual boards all these types of different new icons and stuff and they're probably even another way that they probably implement too you can get icons and stuff and dual packs from doing your missions because if you go to unlimited you go scroll down and you guys can see right here you get a trophy icon i know i've gotten a couple mates you get a car icon car mate you get a football mate. You get a treasure chest mate if you complete special summons. This one's at a thousand special summons. So that's 
actually some of the things you guys can do this one will most likely come over time just from playing the game as you guys should be doing and as you guys see like future like how do i say this sorry so with the game just being out in under a month these are probably your only ways to get um mates and accessories there are only four ways but if you guys wait long enough soon they're gonna implement new ways and i can't wait to see what they bring and what monsters they have because Yu-Gi-Oh, as you guys all know is a really big game and with the different varieties of all the different decks, they could have thousands of possibilities. So unfortunately, that is the video. These are the four ways that you guys can achieve new accessories. If you guys like the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Or even if you guys found it informational, please do that. And I'll see you guys in the next one.